All right, let's get this started. This will be a super quick video today. Um, just kind of detailing my experience with programming a little bit and um, you know what, what it means to, to be able to switch languages. Uh, I started with Python, uh, kind of got the, the gist of, of, of programming in that. I actually started with HTML, but that was, that was even before that. But really started with Python. Uh, then once I got to college, took a Java class and really kind of learned what object-oriented programming is and then uh, took C++ and now I'm on to C Sharp, getting to learn this this uh, this language a little bit more. But in all of that, I, I was really curious uh, when, I was, when I was watching some videos on C Sharp, I was really uh, to, to, to familiarize myself with, with C, Sharp, C Sharp a little bit better. Um, I was really curious to see that a lot of the concepts that are that are in C++ are the same as C sharp uh, so this kind of this kind of made me come to making this video why are there different languages to begin with and, and how do you switch how do you manage the flow between different different languages because this semester of college as well or last semester I guess because it just finished but uh, you know I was working in Java and Python uh, on the weekly so how do I how do I differentiate those in my head um, and the first question I want to answer is why are there different different languages? Um, I mean, the same thing, you know, same thing you could ask for for real life. You know, why is there Spanish? Why is there English? Uh, there's there's people that that wanted to create a language that was specified for a specific task, and it, and it and that caught on. Let's say C plus plus, for instance, right? C plus plus runs on the actual hardware itself, and it's considered a low level program, whereas Java and C Sharp, I just learned, um, are both higher level. That means that they run off of VMs, which is virtual machines, uh, which means that basically they can be run on any any uh, Linux, Mac OS, or, or, or Windows. They can run on any platform, um, and they, yeah, they don't have to be run on the hardware directly because you're running on a VM, which is super super cool. Uh, and that that that's that's one proponent for for having C sharp over C plus plus is the fact that you can run it on any system, whereas C plus plus is kind of specific to the hardware itself. Um, so that, that, that kind of gets it out of the way of, of why there's different languages or for dedicated tasks. Uh, continuing on this topic, Python is for like, is specified for data and, and it's very, very easy to, to use data. It's, it's using machine learning too, because machine learning is heavy, heavily integrated in data. Uh, you know, whereas Java is kind of focused on on application based, you know, um, that kind of stuff. But continuing on to my to my next question, how is it how is it switching between programs? Um, the video I watched today, you know, the guy really talked about it, and you want to learn what object oriented programming is before you you know really take on the task of learning multiple languages because at the end of the day all these programs do very similar things uh if they're an object oriented program they have classes they have object inheritance um you know they have they have that in common and if that makes sense to you then you you kind of know what i'm what i'm talking about here but you know at the end of the day these programming languages do very similar things for a reason and you know whether or not when you're when you're thinking about how to switch between them, what helps me a lot too, because I, I forget when I was when I uh, first picked up Python again this semester, I really had to dive deep into into Google to to figure out the the syntax of it all and the and the, the structure. But at the end of the day, I already knew what was what was what was possible with Python because I used it before, and I know it's possible with object object oriented programming in general. So. Um, I think it's really important to learn learn not just the program and not just the language, but learn what you can do with it. And then when you're researching a new language, uh, I think the first thing you should look is, hey, what can I do in this program? Or how does it relate to a, uh, a, a language that I already know? Because I think in your mind, then you can formulate, okay, what can I do? And then that's when you get your, get your more specified Google search of how can I do this now? Um, so uh, anyway, I got C sharp open right here. Uh, I can make a video on how to how to start how to do a little startup for um, 
for for C Sharp, but um, yeah, I I got an internship uh, in the mix, and we're we're looking for internships, and and maybe this uh this will happen, but I'll keep you guys updated, and yeah, have a good day. I just wanted to kind of kind of rant a little bit about how how I was able to switch between Python and Java. Um, also, just using, just keep using it, because uh, the more you use it, the more you're gonna f you're gonna build that muscle, and the more your your brain's gonna retain. The information you know, I can say I haven't used C sharp in a couple months, but however, you know, I use I use C sharp or sorry, I haven't used C plus plus in a couple months, but uh, I can say that if if I pick up C plus plus, it'll take me a day to 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 re familiarize myself with some stuff. But it's at the end of the day, it's it's very similar to Java in the in the sense of what what it can do. So I'll, I'll remember real, real quickly, but just kind of want to talk about this today. Uh, if there's any programmers out there who are going to be watching this video, um, I encourage you to learn another language. I mean, uh, it it only adds to your to your experience and and to um, your selling point to to a business person or to yourself even. Yeah. So have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.